Hey guys, this is Zach with ECS Tuning, and today we're gonna to be taking a look at our brand new intercooler piping kit for the Mark 7. This is CNC mandrel bent aluminum. Uh, it's a larger diameter across the board than your stock stuff. So it allows for increased airflow and increased horsepower. Uh, and dang, does it look good when it's installed. Uh, while we're installing this, we're also gonna take a look at installing our turbo muffler delete kit on this Mark 7 Golf R. So, without further ado, let's get into it. I'll show you the tools you need, we'll show you how to remove the stock components, and then we'll show you how to slap in the fun stuff. For this install, we've got a variety of 11 millimeter sockets and box wrenches. We've got a seven millimeter socket, a T30 socket, a T20 driver, five millimeter Allen key, a nice long set of needle noses, our Schwab and Vag connector removal tool. And I always like to keep some uh, lubricant on hand because it helps a lot when it comes to putting silicone couplers on. Okay, so to start, we've already removed our intake and battery. The battery is more uh, so the cameraman can get good shots in here. You don't really need to remove it, although it does make it a little easier. The intake, if you need to uh, learn how to remove that, check out uh, the link to the video in the description below. Uh, we've already made a video to show you how to remove the intake, so we skip that for now. Uh, so, to get into it, uh, we're ready to remove our turbo outlet pipe. Um, and to do that, we're gonna need to loosen the hose clamps, remove the T30 mounting screws, and pop off uh, all the harnesses and a coolant line that are mounted to the intercooler pipe. I think there are three different locations that uh, things are mounted directly to the intercooler pipe. So you gotta get all those off uh, in order to be able to remove it from the vehicle. Okay, now we're gonna raise the car and loosen the lower mounting bracket and lower hose clamps. Okay, we've got a couple more things to get out of the way down here. Uh, one, we've got another wiring harness attached to the turbo outlet pipe. You just need to poke something pointy into the hole in the back and pull down. And then we need to disconnect uh, this coolant line that's attached. Uh, just use a flathead and work it apart. And then with that out of the way, we can get to our T30 mounting screws. So let's remove the second one for the uh, turbo outlet pipe. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and remove this coupler right now and get it out of the way. All right, now we're gonna put the car back down and fish the turbo outlet pipe out. Okay, so now to make this a little bit easier, I'm just gonna remove the uh, turbo outlet coupler and then we should be able to fish the pipe out. Now, make sure all your harnesses and stuff are out of the way. All right, now for the uh, throttle body pipe, uh, we are going to loosen the hose clamp at the throttle body, and then lift the car and work from the bottom. All right, now we're ready to pull off the uh, throttle body pipe. First, I'm gonna loosen up the hose clamps and remove this coupler. Uh, then when we're done with that, I'm gonna disconnect the map sensor, and uh, then we're gonna remove one last T30 mounting screw, and then we should be able to pull the whole thing down. Okay, I'm gonna use my bag connector removal tool on the map sensor. Okay. 
And now the T30. Okay. Okay. Okay, now that we've got all the pipes removed, it is a perfect time to swap out our turbo muffler for our turbo muffler delete. Um, so it's just three five millimeter Allen bolts. And with all the piping removed, it, especially with the battery out of the way, it's not too difficult to get to these. It is a little tough to see them though. Okay, now it should come right out. Okay, so we're gonna replace this with our much, much better flowing uh, design. So let's put it in just the same way the stock one came out. There we go. Okay, so you can see we uh, popped the turbo muffler delete in off camera, tightened up the three five millimeter Allen bolts, and now we're ready to install our turbo outlet coupler. I've got the two and a half inch hose clamp choked up on the coupler so it doesn't fall off and just kind of wiggling this onto the turbo muffler delete until it bottoms out. Okay, that is on there. Now we'll snug up the hose clamp, but we're gonna wait to tighten everything up until the end. Okay, so we are ready to install our first intercooler pipe, uh, but before we do that, we need to install the bracket that it mounts to and the hardware that we use to install it is actually this OEM T30. Uh, so all you got to do is grab it and you'll pull the sleeve and washer out of the grommet and then you just pop the grommet out and then you can reuse it. So now we will put this into our bracket. And then just push her through. All right, now that in place. Okay, we'll leave that loose. Okay, now with the bracket in place, we're gonna install our first charge pipe. Uh, we're just gonna stick it into the coupler hanging off the turbo outlet, line it up with the bracket, and then insert the supplied five millimeter Allen bolt. Okay, once you get that started, uh, we're ready to move downwards. Okay, so now we've lifted the car up, we're underneath, and we're ready to install our second pipe. So we've gotta get a coupler onto the turbo outlet pipe, which you can see right here. Uh, this is the front of the car, so now I'm gonna put our one straight coupler up onto the pipe. Uh, not gonna put any clamps on yet, just to make it a little easier, and then we'll slide them on once we're on the pipe. Get a clamp on there, keeping in mind the way we want to have it oriented once we snug everything up. One more clamp, and then we'll install the lower pipe. Okay, take your 90 degree pipe, right into the coupler. And now we're ready to couple the intercooler to the pipe. All right, we've got our 90 degree coupler with two clamps on it. And we're just gonna slide her onto the piping and onto the intercooler. Okay. All right, let's move on to the other side. Okay, now we're ready to install our throttle body coupler and pipe. Um, with where everything's at, there's no way you're gonna be able to see it on camera, so you'll just have to imagine. Uh, the throttle body coupler will be oriented just like this, front of the car facing that way. Um, so I'm just gonna work it up and jam it on.
Okay, now we're ready for the pipe. Okay, so we swapped our map sensor from the uh, OE intercooler pipes to our ECS pipes, and now we're ready to insert the throttle pipe into the throttle body coupler. Ooh. Okay, don't forget to connect your map sensor. Now we're ready for our last coupler. Slide it onto the intercooler and onto the pipe. Okay, with that in place, now we're ready to uh, make our final adjustments, double check and then tighten anything up, obviously trying to prevent any boost leaks. So, now we're gonna do that. We've got everything adjusted and tightened up. We've taken a test drive. We're strapped down to the dyno. Now we're ready to make some pulls and see what kind of power we make. Well, you can see that we did make power over the stock charge pipes, which means that the ECS charge pipes are a great addition for any car running over stock boost levels. I appreciate you guys watching. I hope this video helped you with your install. We'll see you next time.